My name is Håkan from Avex Hooks and today I will be tying a zonker fly. And the zonker is a big streamer which is made out of uh, squirrel or in this case rabbit or other soft furs. Uh, and it's mainly for imitating bait fish or bigger flies. Uh, this fly is tied on the Arex HR418, which is a, a salmon hook for bomber flies. But as you can see, it will work perfectly for the sonker as well. This is the size 4. We set the thread and start by tying in a piece of wire. In this case, I'm using gold wire. But any type of wire works. This will be the ribbing, but also uh, the tying in of the, the wing. And the body is made of crystal chenille cactus. And I try to pull off some of the fibers by the end. So I just have the yarn to tie in. And then I move forward. I can stop there because I need room for tying in the wing and the hackle. And then we wind with tinsel chenille. and cut off the waist and the wing is a strip of rabbit skin which I tie on the top of the fly and I don't make the wing too long because if it's too long you sometimes lose a lot of fish because they don't get to the hook they just nibble in the in the fur so I tie in the skin on top of the shank and to secure the wing on the back of the hook we will be using the wire so I gently pull the skin and separate separate the hair And secure with the wire, move forward, do the same. Three or maybe four turns is enough to secure the wing. And then we tie it in. I want to add a bit more flash to the fly, so I cut off two fibers of crystal mirage flesh and tie in on top of the wing and fold over so I get four strands and then I just cut them a bit shorter like this and Finally, I take a plastic clamp and uh, get some of the fur into it. And then I make a thread loop. And I take my dubbing twister. And then I just put the hair between the threads and pull. And then we just spin the dubbing twister and we will get a nice soft strand of fur to make sort of soft hackle or a big head on the fly. Just stroke back the fur as you wind the twist and then we just tie it in. If you 
can moisten your fingers a bit. It's easier to get the hackle to get the right shape. And then we just make a whip finish. And there we have the finished Sonker Fly.